we are back. Um, so, back to you guys, um, walking through. Um, Needles is watching with folded arms. Um, Belgraph, you're hanging in the doorway. Um, you get a message, actually. Belgraph, you will get a message. Um, from Cypher, and you can hear, um, Enna's voice in the background. And he basically says, We've had word from the headmaster. Kess is in a bit of trouble for trying to move through the school under a disguise. They gave her opportunities to drop it and she didn't. So they want, uh, us, right. they want us all to leave um, immediately and they're coming to find us. Ah, right, okay. So, guys, funny story. Yes? Yeah, I'll, I'll relay what I just heard to everyone else. <laughs> I'll just burst out laughing. Well, you know what that means. Uh, Molly, I might want to finish up here quickly. I have to escort all of these out of the school. And me, by the sound of it. Oh, never knew my last day would be so much fun. Well, at least you'll have, what, have that one good day here. Most of my days have been good. This one will be excellent. How, though? It's just books. Just books can contain a great deal of knowledge, which is absolutely ripping. And she's going to put her hands on the cage and look at the creature. The creature what exactly is, are we freeing? Uh, the creature inside um, is probably about four, four and a half foot tall. It's very hunched over. It's got sallow, pale, almost bluish skin. Um, thin hair that seems to have gone sort of whitey grey, quite long. It looks very windswept. <coughs> and it's got like rags and bits of clothes around it and it's hunched over and vaguely human in shape but the limbs are both longer and stubbier so the legs seem to be shorter and stubbier than a human legs but the arms seem to be longer and more gangly and the neck is longer and thinner as well and it looks around with sort of yellowy green eyes that seem quite wide um and a mouth that is quite tight-lipped and small and it sort of peers around at you hunched in the middle of its cage and you can see Molya poking her hand through the cage, putting her hand out towards the creature. And she's beckoning it over, saying, um, come on, we're, we're going to help you. You can be free. Come on. Um, but the creature doesn't seem to be moving at the moment. Can I pixie dust the creature, like from above the cage? <laughs> um, sure. I do that. Okay. Are you pixie dusting a creature over to the side where you guys are? Um, closer to Moliar. Okay. Um, the creature gets picked up and makes a sort of <gasps> noise as it then gets dropped in front of Moliar, who keeps holding her hand out to the creature. It doesn't take her hand, but it looks across at those of you in the room. And she says, I will free you, but tell me what you are. I must know what you are. You defy all books and knowledge. What are you? And the creature says very quietly, um, Fallen through, fallen must get back. And... Molly looks around. The cage doesn't seem to have a door. And she looks to you all and says, those of you who are nearby, and says, well, help me then. And she starts um, pulling on the bars of the cage. Um, she seems to be using some sort of um, magic for strength. She looks at you particularly, Needles, um, to help her try and pull these bars apart. He just picks up his cheese wings and just sits back and watches. <laughs> In the 
potatoes is just watching me eating cheese and wine. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> I'm used to doing everything myself. And, um, Malia. Okay. Uh, Malia glows red again. She's been glowing sort of continuously, but the smoke had died down. And she is engulfed in red smoke. You can't, you can only just see her hair and her silhouette. And she sort of blasts out. And um, those of you who are close to her, so Ariel and um, Bakuretz and Needles, you're not very close, are you? you... No, he stayed with the lines. Okay. So Errol and Bakuretz, <coughs> can you do me a dexterity save? Uh, oh, okay. okay. Yes, yes, I can. Uh, that is a 24. Okay. I'm using a, um, uh, actually, no, that's fine without it. In that case, it's just a 20. Just a 20. Okay. Uh, then you'll take half of this. And Errol? Um... Yeah, wait. Sorry, I was distracted for a second. <laughs> That's okay. Dexterity save, please. Oh. <laughs> I rolled a three, so that makes 14. Okay. In which case, Errol, you take the full 19 points of damage. And Head Boyus Maximus, you'll take 10. Um, ah. And it's like fire damage um, that blasts out from her. And when the red sort of smoke clears, um, she's like ripped the two bars she was pulling off the cage and is like pulling the creature out by the hand. Okay, just just so just uh, gonna say this with all the fire damage going on right now, I'm going to expend a spell point and I'm gonna give myself uh, fire resistance for the next hour because <laughs> I feel like that's probably gonna come in useful. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, I'm fine. I might be sticking back up um, Valflammer's shield as well. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm just going to group that up. <laughs> I'm just going to steer clear of Moliar for the for a while. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Molya bends down and is breathing heavily and holds the creature's hands and all she says... Oops, steady on, Beckerettes. <laughs> all she says to it is, um, I give you... I give you one trip. Use it wisely. And she... I can um, hear that. So can you say that again, please? She says, I give you one trip. Use it wisely. No, she doesn't hand him magic mushrooms. She hands the creature a small black candle and waves her wand and it lights and the creature shouts Eastlia and disappears. I cleared that up. Mm. We've come down here for... Why the fuck did she need to break the cage if she has a teleportation candle? The cage was I don't feel like questioning her methods at the moment. Let's just get out of here and get you guys out of this school, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay. Okay. So, you guys head out. You head back out the corridor and up to your friends. You meet Cypher and Enna. Um, who oh, while we're him. while we're going, can uh, is Baccarat still willing to teach me that fire shield spell? Right. Well, the thing with this particular spell is it's one that uh, my family have been perfecting over many, many generations. Now, I can teach you the start of how to develop your own version, but it won't quite exactly be as good as I perform it, or how I will be able to perform it. Okay, but I can give you the pointers to the start. That will, of course, cost you some money. Sure. I'll give you the uh, the first stage, and you can use your own arcane uh, scientific experimentation to develop it further from that. 
Does that sound good? Okay, sounds reasonable. So, uh, what kind of cost are we talking here? Mm. 175. Okay. If it's just a starting point, it seems 175 seems a bit steep. How about 100? This is something that my family have been perfecting for generations. And you think I'm going to give it to us? Essentially, a stranger for anything less than 170. You're not, yeah, but you're not giving me the full spell. You're giving me the starting point. It's because the starting point of the spell is where it goes forward. Yeah, but I'm going to have to figure out most of the rest of the spell, aren't I? Well, or am I the one who's had cast a spell? So why don't you just shush and let me talk, okay? Okay. Okay. The incarnation of the spell starts with this basic point, and then each new caster has to develop their own way of invoking it. Copy it down, and there you go immediately, straight off the bat. It's the most important part, and you'll have to develop your own way of casting it. As I am a wizard, and you seem to be more of a sorceress bent. That is true. Much. And 170 to teach you that basic, and then you can work it out from there. How about 150? Mm, you're driving a hard, hard bargain. Let's go 160. 155. <laughs> 60 is the lowest I'll go. Sorry? Sorry, your audio cut out there. I didn't, I didn't hear you. 160 is the lowest I'm going to go. Come on, you can spend an extra 10 gold, can't you? I know you have it to spare. <laughs> it's exceptional. Oh, like, well. Bad strategy to mention how much gold you have before bargaining about the price, man. Yeah, yeah well, Belgrath, in all honesty, doesn't really give a shit about gold. It's, it's not re- he, he lived the life of a hermit. It's more a means to, to an end. It was, more, it was more bargaining just for the uh, shits and giggles more than anything. <laughs> uh, well, you're robbing me blind, in my opinion, but all right, 160. Okay. Um, so, if uh, the way that this kind of works is that uh, it's once you kind of, basically you have to like science a bit of it and like experiment with the spell, but once you get it, it's basically a level four spell um, that can't be upcast. Okay. It's a level four uh, temporary shield spell. Okay, well, I won't be able to cast it for a while anyway, but... Uh... You have to science it a bit, but once you do, it'll, it'll be... It's another fourth spell. Mm-hmm. Um, it works as per Leoman's tiny hut, in that case, it's like it, it is impenetrable. Concentration. Okay. And if you make any attacks that... Would, that's Basically, if you make any attack rolls or anything that deals damage, it immediately drops. Okay. Uh, hits, hits it from five feet away... It gets a flame backlash, and then if it was with a weapon, they have to try and hold on to the weapon or they get disarmed. So that, that oh, okay. winds up working, but that's how that actually pans out is going to be up to how you try and science it. Okay. Did, did you say that you sent Rosie a uh, a bit about that spell? No, Rosie has like the full, um, like what it actually does. Okay. She, she well, uh, send you stuff. Yeah, we, me and Rosie can hash out the details. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll yeah, so, yeah, it. it's, it's a spell. Yeah, it's it's one that I've made, and then you guys will have to remake it as per how Rosie decides that's going to go. Because... <laughs> but yes, as you guys walk up the corridor, you talk science and wave your arms Throw around. And... Notes. I'm going to hand it, get my gold. Like, <laughs> when you're doing business with me. Morning. And then he goes back to accidentally staring at Molyar's arse as she walks ahead of you guys. By accident. Wait, it's just oh accident. no, what a shame. Terrible. It's the worst, worst thing that happened. <laughs> um, so you guys get up, you meet Cypher and Anna who tell you that... To be fair, know. it's not a bad one. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, Bograf, you can look as well. She's in front of you, you know. You can all look, it's fine. <laughs> It's kind of like noise. Okay. <laughs> um, however, could all of you do me a perception check with advantage? 
Perception check with advantage. Uh, that's 21. <coughs> that's still in that one. Uh, 16 for me. Oh, Ariel. He tries. He tries. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so excited to have pixied that, you know. Yep. Okay. I did a thing! <laughs> Ariel, you're just excited. Needles, um, Molya looks angrier and flamier to you than she did before. Um, Belgarath and Bakurets, um, Molya doesn't look like a tiefling anymore. Can you that, please? Uh, yeah, Molyar, sorry, you cut out. There. Sorry, Molya does not look like a tiefling anymore. Oh boy. What does no, she look okay. like? <laughs> um, it's easy to see why you thought that and it seems like maybe her physicality has changed a little it seems like she may have been using a little magic on herself um, but in her rage and attacking and glowy redness she still has horns, she's still red but she looks more like something demonic or abyssal or devilish you can't quite tell what but there's some sort of under realm hellishness in her that isn't tiefling it's more fiend like well i'm gonna kind of are. shoot back where it's a worried look and just be like um that that yeah. that's not good real quick i'm gonna cast mage armor on myself you know just in case <laughs> there i was thinking he was gonna go you have never been more attractive to me <laughs> And I'll kind of like put an arm on Molly's shoulder and just be like, I... "Say that again." I just heard. But that's, that's basically what I said. Is um, do you, do you wanna cool down? <laughs> okay, I just got a little hand on shoulder, just just trying to find some words to say. Hey, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, she feels hot, like, like, really, really hot. Oh, yeah. Used to the flames. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Work through the pain. <laughs> um, um, is that for one sec? Um, I'm going to yeah, use prestidigitation digitation on myself to chill down my hand where it's touching her so it doesn't hurt me. Okay. <laughs> um... She feels that too, and instinctively, like, sort of goes to shrug you off, but you sort of keep your hand there. Um, just try turning her around to face me, and just gonna like just look at her in the face, just like. Okay. Um, her eyes have gone where they were sort of ready. They they're now purpley black. Um, okay. <laughs> like black where the white pupils were, purple um, in the coloured. Oh. Um, the, where the colour would... Oh, shit. Enormous. Bad JJ. Bad JJ. Um, yeah, no. I, I got that. Um. Uh, she's, still, she's still breathing quite heavily. She still looks sort of like she's regaining composure, but she, she's listening to you. Um, can I cast a pet, just detect magic? Just fuck it. Um, sure. What are you trying to... What are you looking for? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume it's, you said it looks like kind of like a demonic thing. Yes. Kind of school of magic she's under. That's what detecting magic is. Yeah. It's just kind of see what, what aura is fucking with her. Okay. She, in a weird way, knowing her so well, um, she doesn't actually seem that different. She seems clearer. Um, I'm, I would assume you have done this to her a few times with or without her consent. Uh, being annoyed at her about um, how powerful she is. Um, at first, when she arrived at the school, probably testing to see if she was faking it or tricking you in some way. She's always been very yeah. hard to read, though. There's sure. even like, like a sort of barrier up. Like you can tell she's magic and powerful, but you, that was it. Um, but right now, that seems to have dropped, and you're getting a very clear, like she has power from within she hasn't learned this it's like in her blood like you can feel oh, like it pulsing oh, huh okay, i fucking knew it I fucking knew she was a sorcerer oh shit sorry <laughs> um, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna be as close to a just kind of look and be like I actually have a, a look of genuine concern on my face. And just look <gasps> and like <laughs> I think I speak for everyone in the room when I say what? Genuine concern, guys. It's all right. I'm busting my, my fourth level spell slot to show some genuine empathy here. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yes. Okay. Are you just looking concerned, or are you saying anything to you? I don't really think that I'm going to roll Arcana to see if I can get any more on this. Okay. That's a critical fail. So no. <laughs> Okay. Um, you, you now know less of it than you knew before. Yeah, you've now forgotten everything. Um, all you can tell is that it's in her blood, and it's you. You can feel it. You can when you cast, you can almost feel it pulsing through her, like it's. it's... You can feel it in your eyes. I feel it in my fingers. In my bones. Oh, needles. Um, I'm gonna read that because that's really cute. <laughs> So Needles is just like standing back and watching crossed arms now going, what now? Needles want to leave school. Fight here too strange. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done a friendship with speech just yet. You you, you watch your turn. <coughs> um, I'll say, Olya, what can I do to help you? Big Twilight Sparkle here to do the friendship speech. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Molly R uh, lowers her eyebrows at you. Um, it's very strange being looked at with almost new eyes. They're the same shape as hers, um, knowing her eyes like you do. Um, they're the same shape, just a completely different colour, which is both freaky and not at the same time. Um, and she glares at you and, and just says, of all people, you want to help me. I'm. I don't want you. The difference between having a strong distaste for someone and wanting someone to be hurt. And you don't look like you're in the best state at the moment. You are technically still a student of the school, which means, as head boy, I'm kind of responsible for making sure you're safe. <laughs> In character, giggling goes on behind you. Can I roll insight on that? Sure. Go for it, yeah. Oh, shit, that one. <laughs> yeah, he's totally true. He is merely being a head boy right now. That's totally all. <laughs> Totally, totally believe that. that. <laughs> oh, Belgrath, what'd you, what'd you get on insight? Oh, I, I, that wasn't Belgrath, that was me. <laughs> I have a feeling it was Belgrath's brain, but Gareth's mouth. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> my deception roll is 15, so for anyone who wants to try and insight, that's the roll to beat. Yeah, yeah mine that one doesn't cut it. <laughs> Um, Molly no, it doesn't. will sort of scornfully laugh <laughs> and say, you have wanted me out of the school since the day I arrived. When earth would you pause now when I'm about to leave? I'm on the cusp of giving you everything you want. You'll be the top of the school, everything again, back to how it was. So you don't exactly look particularly safe right now you look a bit a bit uh, what different in a magical way and i've i'm pretty good at my studies and it is like that and and anger and but you've you're quite hot, temperature speaking. <laughs> I can only assume that's because of some sort of magic, and I'm concerned because, again, yes, I... I can't 
can't pretend and say that I wouldn't be somewhat gleeful if you left the school, but again, I don't want you to get hurt. But like, that's just what a decent person would want. Meanwhile, in the comments section, kiss her, you fool, and time for another Disney song. <laughs> Shit, that doesn't work. Um, she, and it's, it's, it's the Little Mermaid song, of course it is. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, of course. I sang that at Bodwell several times to people, actually. That's quite fun. Um, Why am I not surprised? She will. Hey, Fifi was great. Um, he was a marvelous amazing. character, amazing. and you all loved him, and he loved everyone. Um, literally. I miss him so much. I miss him. Um, meanwhile, Molya is still glaring at you, and she sort of, um, when you said the last couple of sentences, she sort of seemed to pulse even hotter. Like, you, you felt that. Even through the, the chill on your hand, you, you felt the heat coming off her, like, pulse again. Pulse of heat. Yeah. Uh, like, like a pulse of angry heat wave, I suppose. And um, she moves a step closer to you. And it's says, stuff. "Huh?" And then she's like, like okay, "Okay, okay, I'm, I'm about, about to. to I, I might. Just, I, I might die. die. That's, That's fine." fine. <laughs> she says, "I could destroy you in a single word. A single spell from you could drop you to your very knees. And you worry about my safety? You are hilarious." Say that last bit again. Uh, she said, I could drop you to your knees with a single spell right now, and you worry about my safety. You are hilarious. If you were going to kill me with a single spell, I think you would have done it a few... I think I would, I would like to believe I know you a little better than that. Uh, she will raise uh, the hand, the the hand that your shoulder is on, the, the shoulder that your hand is on. She will raise that hand, touch your wrist, and um, for a second, you feel um, every nerve in your body get ready. It's, it's the easiest the easiest way to describe this is you feel every nerve in your body get ready to sear in absolute agony, but then it stops. Oh my God. Um, and your body almost braces itself knowing that it's about to be screaming in anguish, but it stops. It's like, it's like just before you touch like a live wire, like, like when you're playing a game and a part of the game is you get electrocuted and like, you know, you're about to get electrocuted. Yeah. And, then... yeah. and like, you, you feel your body do that. You don't know what's coming, but you feel your body do that, which alerts your brain to what's about to happen. And then just as you're about to go, fuck, it stops. Oh, then. I see. Well, that's a thing. Holding onto my wrist? Mm hmm. <laughs> Can you hear me? I heard, are you still holding onto her? Is she still holding onto the wrist? And then, yes. And then that was it. Um, and what your deal is, honestly. These people came in here talking about some sort of incarnation or whatever. Or oh, I'm certain that you're the strongest master or whatever. You know what, that's fine. You do your thing. But... Uh, I don't think that gives you the right to assume that I would care. I wouldn't care if you were seriously hurt. At all. Okay. A little bit. Okay. I <laughs> Um, do me a, um... Wisdom save, please. 
I'm gonna use my uh, uh, I'm gonna get a plus four to this. A uh, that is an eighteen. Okay. In which case, you only take. In which case, you only take. 17, 17 points, points of um, it doesn't actually have a name so I'm just going to call it excruciating pain damage um, okay. <laughs> um, you only take 17 <laughs> points um, as she moves both her hands and like puts them on your face and like basically makes your whole body sort of light up for about 3 seconds in just like <laughs> blackout pain Sing to the ground, I guess. <laughs> um, she'll just hold you there. She won't let you fall. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Needle scowls and walks past them towards. <laughs> the that let us know if you want to if you want any assistance there, head boy. <laughs> uh, I feel like any assistance you would be able to give probably wouldn't stick. Say, uh. Any better, better ideas? I like. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I'd be welcome to hearing them. Um, well, that's, that's put me in a bit of a pickle there because aside from blowing, blowing stuff up, there's not a lot. Uh, uh, <laughs> graph is good for. <laughs> Ariel, any we suggestions? Really, <laughs> we don't really do subtlety in this party. No, I mean, I mean what I could do is cast a uh, gust of wind to. Uh, Pin her against the wall until we straighten things out. I don't know. It's it's all magic based as well. What she does, right? So yeah, we also can't really talk this bit before just getting. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do anything. That no, that's not. Okay. That's not. Um. She's got her hands in my face, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you started to sort of like fall down a little but she sort of like held you there not so much by strength but more sort of by power Rosie can I cast shadow hood on her uh describe um it, the shadows manifest near your opponent's head distracting them targeted creature makes a wisdom saving throw if they fail they receive minus one to attack rolls and dexterity based skill checks for the duration sure at, At least it will distract her a little bit. What am I? What's what am I going to save? Sorry. Um, it's a, it's a oh. uh, wisdom it's, it's okay. saving it's throw. A two. Versus... It's a two. Ah. Nothing she could add to yeah. that will help. Yeah, yeah it's, it's first, first my fourteen. 14 so. so. Uh, all right. In that case, in response to that. Um. So she's now um like distracted. Looking around, can you guys see the shadows too, or is it just a manifestation for her? Errol? It's literally just, just in her head. head. Okay, so Errol casts something, and she's still holding you. It's a bit looser, and she's sort of like shaking her head, looking around, trying to shake off some. It looks like she's shaking oh. off a fly or something. Uh, wrists. You're taking her wrists off your face, okay? I'm holding to my wrists. I'm trying to move them arms down, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like, get away. Like, like when a policeman so like takes someone and makes them not able to hit anybody anymore. I don't know. I'm just kind of like. <laughs> You're a student. You haven't been taken by the police. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah. Well, well, yeah, actually. <laughs> Basically, just trying to like slightly just lower her hands, basically. Yep, you can do that. That's fine. She's distracted. Um, fuck it. I'm gonna kiss her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Makes sparks fly, <laughs> boy. Um, do me a do me a charisma check. Charisma check. Natural one. Natural one. Oh, that's not what you want. Twenty. Oh, natural twenty. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, your mojo okay, suddenly leaves you. You are the nerdiest twat at the school. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, Lol. Lies, Lol Flock. Lol Flock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my modifier is plus three, so that's uh, 23. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, all right, so you just go in for it. Okay. <laughs> I assume we all applaud. Yeah. <laughs> Ariel, are you gonna? I, mean, I, I, I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd applaud, but uh... Ariel, are you gonna drop your spell or continue to make her see shadows while this is going on? <laughs> if you I'm want, humble. I will get you. He, he says whilst getting up, drop the spell, Ariel. I'll, I'll, I'll drop, drop the, the spell. spell. I mean, or you can make the shadows applaud. Either one. So, no, I can. I, I, can I, I can always make the spell appear, appear again whenever, whenever I want it. it so. <laughs> I'll make the shadows <laughs> applaud. Just it hurts. That hurts, hurts my brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I, I'm tempted to make them applaud. <laughs> well, you can applaud. Oh, no. That's fine. Glorious. Okay. You can, you can turn the shadows, shadows into shadow hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> But, but but I I, I want to extend it so that they're both seeing shadows now. <laughs> no, no, not, not seriously though. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll actually drop, drop it. it. All right. So the spell being dropped. Um, there's a couple of seconds where there's there's some shock and there's some oh shit this could go badly. <laughs> um, how tightly are you holding her wrists? Um. What? Tightly. It was more of I was kind of like guiding them down. down. I think I don't. I think the vibe of like trying to hold onto and like secure someone's wrist so they can't move while you kiss someone is that's just not a nice image. <laughs> so just moving them. Lots of people, people into that. that. <laughs> not right now. Uh, in which case, she you won't have to do a strength check then. In which case, um, she will move her wrist out of your grip and just sort of like wrap her arms around you and carry on. E, carry on, got, got it, it. That's, that's it. That's, that's how, that's how I wanna. Can, <laughs> Not a boy. as their tongues are getting deeper into each other's throats, could you guys do a perception check, please? Do we, do we really need to, what? Yeah, <laughs> just trust me. Perception check to watch. <laughs> 21. The one time I actually see something. Yay! <laughs> Errol er spits into his hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, Belgraf, you just are sort of lost in a thing of thinking, well, I thought this should have happened a while ago. That's hilarious. And also, is this really the time? But also, huh, that's a good distraction. Um, Needles is not watching. So, Ariel, you're the only person who notices They've done this before. <laughs> there's some, there's some <laughs> common movements here. Yeah. Like, this is looking a bit too practiced. <laughs> a decision that was made after um, the session, by the way. It was the, the memes were too spicy. Yeah, the memes so. were too. Oh, it was like you know what they've got a good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this carries on for a good sort of few minutes, and then. Um, I'm going to say Needles just sort of uh -huh, uh -huh, um, and maybe Cypher and Enna like peer around the corner and go guys, guys, guys um, I'll, I'll take a moment to like just just move about an inch away from my face and, and, like, and like stop for just like just a, just a moment okay <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying all these gifts that are appearing <laughs> I am so enjoying looking at like new gifts to fit into this as well. <laughs> Needles is tapping his heavy boot and waiting. Um, sorry, Headboyus Maximus, what were you saying? You cut out then. I was just just joining in the shipping. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's just uh, stop the kiss, move on, inch away from my face, okay. and just maybe she doesn't blow me up. <laughs> um. She'll just uh, take your hand, like fingers entwined properly, um, uh, like, rude. and she'll just sort of say, "Well, come on then, let's get me out of here." Right. One, One sec. sec. 
Uh oh, what meme are you looking up now? Um, it, 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 it has, it, it's, it's a little bit spicy, bit spicy but, um, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. They are basically for all our thousands of viewers. Um, it's a like a manga clip of um someone hand holding and then a big picture of someone um um <laughs> internally screaming. Ah! No, no, autistic, autistic screaming. screaming. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it. That's worse. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's worse. worse. So, so, Preface was saying it was a bit spicy. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Right. Right. Anyway, anyway, uh, uh, I was, I was like, like, I'll just nod and go like, all right, okay, okay. and now we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll get, get on our on, on, on our merry way. way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so look at others who are gathered around. Thomas Boys was quite angry. Go on, you're coming with me. Oh yeah, she is. Um, <laughs> so, oh my god, these memes. So, you guys uh, join Cypher and Enna, and um, Enna um, is sort of like uh, smiling because she has befriended some rats who were in the tunnel up ahead and now has a small army of rats um, sitting on both of her arms. Um, she is telling you their names. One of them is called Prissy, one of them is Oliver, one of them is Derek. And she gets that far before you're like, come on then, come on, we got to go. And you guys uh, head on back up and are met on the corridor on the first floor by the headmaster and her faculty, what looks like a few other teachers. And they're all sort of stood there looking rather stern. Well, the curates, I assume you didn't get our message about making sure that they had left the school promptly around I, an yeah, hour I'm ago. I did not get that message that an hour ago. I, I, I did get a second message saying that you were very unhappy with one of the others. And as soon as I got that message, I have started leading them out. I am here right now. Like, like pretends that he's just he, he just pretends, pretends. He's, he's giving this like speech to the headmaster head definitely just not holding my like obvious sworn enemy's, enemy's fucking hand <laughs> I, it, apparently uh, uh, the headmaster is either not concerned or not surprised so it's like, like yeah no, no shit, shit. Straight, straight facing this at the moment um, um and yeah, yeah no i'm taking them out promptly And how was the tour? Did it go well? Were they utterly respectful? Do they have anything with them? Have they taken anything from us? They haven't taken anything, though. Now, that's technically not a lie, but I am going to get you to roll deception for that. Sorry? I'm going to get you to roll deception for that. It's not technically a lie, but it's not the truth either. We, it, it, I, I, it's, it's honestly another, another natural 20. 20. <laughs> Okay, in which case, she doesn't necessarily believe it, but she believes that you believe it. <laughs> and that's important. I didn't, I didn't see, see them take, take anything. Not, Not them. them. Okay. In which case, <laughs> the headmaster is going to say, very well. The other one is outside awaiting her fellows. She remains in her disguise. But now outside our walls, it doesn't matter. I assume the rest of them will be getting uh, from the facilities for the foreseeable future? They won't be allowed back into our walls, no. Not all of them are horrible. <laughs> Not all of them are horrible. <laughs> I'm afraid we are a one strike and one strike only institution here. One strike and you are out. We, we didn't do anything. anything, it was all the stupid scalebacks doing, he did the bad thing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Be that as it may, you are still an associate and did not inform us that one of you uh, was continually forcing a disguise upon us. So, come with me then. 
says the headmaster. Uh, the rest of the faculty break off now, seeing that you guys aren't putting up any sort of a fight or anything. Um, they break off. A few of them nod to you, um, Head Boyus Maximus. And you are led back to that patch of wall where it's sort of shimmering, where you guys can go back out to the entrance way. If any of the professors smirked at me, I, I will just mouth, mouth don't, don't say a fucking word. word. <laughs> uh, actually, a couple of them do. One of them raises their eyebrows pointedly at the two of you. Um, one of them... Oh no, that's so sad! <laughs> oh, there's a sad meme that Errol's put up and it says, us when we leave the grounds, and it's from the Emperor's new groove and he's crying in the rain. Oh, it's so sad! Oh, that tugs on my heart. <laughs> yeah. I, like I liked some things, things about that movie. movie. This scene was one of them. I like it. I love that. I love that movie. I think it's brilliant. I just hate how Cuzco is just the worst. Like, no, he's he gets on way too scot free. I would agree with that, but also that when he is an utter prick, he is also hilarious. Anyway, I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Is, is the way, way to the where, where I'm leading them out to? to it, are there, there any other students, students on the way? There's a few, but they're not in the corridor. They're sort of poking out of windows and looking in from the courtyard. A lot of them seem to have noticed the teachers rallying and they've heard that people are getting kicked out of the school. And several of them, um, the people who are in, um, the people who are in um, Tisselforth in the blue, they are just quite friendly chaps, so they don't seem to be really saying anything. A few of them cheer, whoop whoop! Um, a lot of Bramwens shout, you could do so much better, Moya! And oh, great. several of the Wuktorns, <laughs> several of the Wuktorns, <laughs> several of the Wuktorns shout, oh for God's sake! Um, and several of the Mazewick people in your house are like wolf whistling, cat calling, and taking the piss. Great, great, cool, great. Cool. great. <laughs> this is fine. That's, That's my boys. boys. <laughs> one, one, one walked on kid is like, like sat there being like, just as bad. <laughs> He's like, yes, my shipping has worked out perfectly. The shipping <laughs> forecast for today. Good. Um, also, um, also head boyus maximus check your messages just so you're aware of something um and <laughs> yep there's a picture of me as jafar yep that's fine it, 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 the it gift doesn't work, work. It's, it's evil laughter, laughter. it's it i can tell it's fine <laughs> <laughs> okay good, good. <laughs> um okay um before you can step out of the gate however um because Molly moves to go with you, and the headmaster says, uh, where do you think you're going, Molly And Molly turns and says, well, headmaster, I feel my educational purposes lie elsewhere in this great wide world, and I would like to see some of it. Not being able to remember anything of my past is vexing to me, and I have enjoyed my time at your institution and cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for me, but I must regret to be cutting my studies rather short. If you'll have me, I may return, of course, but for now I will be leaving. And the headmaster shakes her head and says, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Uh oh um pause for a second because i need to do the last recording